Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. On the last episode of Jedi TV, I ended the coverage from the SAS Oregon State Championship match rather quickly from the range on our last stage. And I didn't take any time to tell you about whether Kook or I accomplished our goals for that match. I had intentions of shooting the match clean, and I did. And Kook wanted to maintain her title of the Ladies B Western category Oregon State Champion, and she did. The two of us also won in several speed events, and if you didn't see my coverage of that, I'll put the link on screen because you absolutely have to see Kook's rifle work at that event. Now, one of the other awards that I won, and it's the second year in a row for me, was the Master Gunfighter side match. And some quick background on this event. I first participated in this side match at the California State match in 2019. I shot it there and came in second place. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link that episode on screen and down in the description box for you to check out later. But I had so much fun at that event that I took the concept to the folks that run the Oregon State match, the old 97 Railroad Rangers, of course. Then they added to it and adopted it as a side match category at their event. And I do a very detailed breakdown of that event on a previous episode and I'll link that on screen now. So like I said, I shot this side match again this year, but between filming and playing at the speed event and helping load the percussion revolvers for the Master Gunfighter event, I didn't get a chance to do much filming of the folks actually shooting at the Master Gunfighter. Now I did manage to break away long enough to capture my pard Baby O'Bear shooting the event, and I'll use his stage to explain the course of fire. Starting with an 1874 trapdoor rifle and 4570, take four shots at the large targets. Next, with two percussion revolvers, do a double tap Nevada sweep on the close pistol targets. Then, two shotgun knockdowns from a hammered double barrel shotgun. It was staged with the hammers down so that everyone had to load it and cock it. Next, with your main match rifle, do a double tap Nevada sweep on those same long range rifle targets. Move to your main match pistols and it's another double tap Nevada sweep. Next, with the pocket pistol, perform a single tap Nevada sweep. Someone forgot to load the pocket pistol, so Baby O'Bear was given a reshoot later on, but he kept moving through the course of fire he was already committed to. The Derringer was next, with two shots being placed on the large pistol target. Then take down two more knockdowns with the 1887 lever action shotgun. Then it was four shots out of the Winchester lever action chambered in 3855. Next was a five-shot Nevada sweep from a 1911. And the stage was finished with the Model 12 shotgun on four knockdown targets. You got all of that committed to memory? Good. Here's my winning run. This'll be a trip. Turner, stand by.
One, two, six, seven, two, four, four. And I did all of that with a Band-Aid on my trigger finger. I earned that Band-Aid after shooting Kook's Marlin on the speed stage. And that's the episode I linked earlier. It's one I really encourage you to watch and share. Now, speaking of sharing, I shared the winner's circle with the familiar pair of cowboys. If memory serves me correctly, it was the same two gunfighters from last year, Whisper and Wade and Lightfoot. This year, Wade was in third place and Lightfoot came in second. Now I'll be looking forward to competing with them again next year at the Oregon State Master Gunfighter side match. Of course, if you wanna see that episode when the time comes, you gotta make sure you're subscribed to this channel. I was looking through some analytics on one of my videos and a full 60% of the viewers weren't subscribed to this channel. Of course, I'm looking to increase my subscriber numbers. So take a moment, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up by clicking that like button. I appreciate it. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. Like down in the comment section, let's chat.